All right, Eric here with Nature Daddy Collective. Today we got a special treat for you. We're gonna be learning how to butcher some meat. Buddy at work harvested two deer. He's got them hanging in his garage. So uh, for me as a beginner, this will be my first time uh, butchering an animal and learning how to do so. So for anyone who's a little bit squeamish, you might wanna pass this video. But for anyone who wants to learn how to properly butcher an animal, this will be for you. All right, here's the two deer. They've been hanging for three days? No. Two days? Six, six days. Six days. So he's just burning some hair off. Yeah, I guess you can see a bunch on there. Yeah, and it's just, there's lots of times when you cut it up, you don't want to wash the meat, because yeah. then it gets soaked in water, and then it just gets freezer burn away faster or whatever, right? Uh, comes with everything. So like it comes with a saw that's over there, mm -hmm. here, skinning, deboning knife, skinning knife, and then just fine like your head or whatever you want to skin out. Then this thing, if you kill something by yourself, this baby, so as you were gutting it, you put it in their ribs, so it holds it open. hold it open, ow. And then, yeah, then you can work away at it. Well, that's what's left of it after skimming. These are both white tails. This one's a buck, and this one's a doe. You can see the difference in size. All right, step one is sanitize. Sanitize. You got bleach and soap. So all the trim goes into this one? Yep. And then we'll get to wrapping later, but as we cut, we put all the good cuts on here. Okay. And then here, front shoulder off, real easy. You pull it, it's okay. not even attached, like bone wise, and you just follow the cut. So you go all the way down, and then you see how it comes up. All you gotta do is pull and cut. Okay. Yeah. And this is your back strap, so you don't want to mess it up. So I just come right across. You do cut through a little bit of shoulder blade, but I prefer the back strap anyways. And you just follow it. Follow it. Follow it. First piece. This will be back straps. Just gonna cut this crap away first. That's where she got hit. So basically, you can kind of see the spine bone coming down. Okay. So you just put it on one side of the spine, make your cut, hug it as tight as you can to the spine. Just let your knife do the work all the way down. Good. Now we go all the way up to about there. She's barely hanging on because she got a little blown apart. Then you cut across. Then your back strap. Just pull down gently and follow it with your knife. So you're basically just touching the spine and cutting in. Same goes down here. Then you trim all this stuff up nice once it's off the deer. Get all the yucky pieces off. Yeah. So you get to ribs eventually. Yeah. yeah, you can also make a little cut here. Now we're at the rib cage. Same thing, just keep following and just light like lightly pull down on it. And 
this. And this one comes out. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you see. That's like part of the neck meat. We'll use some of that for trim. So there is a back strap. That's a good hunk of meat there. Yeah, those are steaks. That's a cold son of a gun. Wow. So as you see, you're like literally right on bone. Like there's barely any meat left like to salvage. Right here. All right. So Eric's going to try to take off half a back strap. because So right along the spine. Saw your way down. Just about there. Yeah, that's good there. Okay, so you can basically yeah. like, yeah, exactly, make a yeah. imaginary line down there. Just till you hit rib bone. And Either. go deep or what? Yeah, deep as you can until yeah. you hit I bone. Can, that's good, yeah. Down. Yeah, that's fine. Just gives you something to follow like as you pull. Okay. Then you reach your hand in there, slice top right first. Then just use the tip of your knife and just Yeah, exactly. And then once you get it going, it'll pull down nicely. So then do one little cut there. No no no. Like You're down? Like down and on an angle. Because there's like some sort of bone there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure she don't hit the floor. Yeah. Yeah, then you just oh. cut it, cut it right there. Yeah. Got him. It's half a strap. Yours is a little cleaner than mine. <laughs> well, you got the banged up one. I should have gave you the better one, but. So then, like this stuff. Ooh, she is cold on, on the hands. <laughs> So this stuff, lots of times you can just peel it off nice. Oh yeah. And that, that'll be bloodshot stuff, so we... We'll cut that off, I mean. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, use your knife to help. So, yeah, yeah. So when it's like that or whatever, just follow as much of the fat and get it off the same piece as you can. Because then it's not as meticulous. It's kind of pull it anyway, right? Yeah. Exactly. Luckily. Beautiful. This mm. is still a good piece of meat there. Cut this piece off. So this and that scrap yeah yeah that's all that hard stuff same thing. same thing on this side pull it up here. yeah you can get it started or just pull that's why you like leaving them hang because they make this oh, yeah, it's like a protective that just came tissue. Like that. exactly and then it's just easier to deal with this little piece hold so there's two ways to do it i always do it facing up some people can do it facing down we just kind of Point your knife in, kind of see it ride the edge of it, yeah. all the way to the end. Then you just kind of have it on like a 45 up and just saw, nice and slow. And try and get as big a piece as you can. And then just tighten it up, saw, tighten it up, saw, tighten it up, saw. Tighten it up, tighten it up. What is that? Is that tendon or like? It's like their. It's, I don't even know what it'd be. It's called a uh, silver skin. That's what like all the hunters call it. Right. And the more that stuff you get off, the better it tastes because it's not chewy. Yeah, yeah. So that is garbage. Okay, so shoulders, you're basically just going to take the shoulder, any big stuff you could trim off as it's whole, just do it. So like this stuff, you just kind of, and then just pull with it. Get this dirty stuff off there, that's no-no. 
That's a no-no to eat. Same thing here. Kind of just follow it. No, no. And then this good sausage meat. So it's mostly sausage for the shoulder? Yeah, like on a bigger deer, you could for sure do steaks and stuff. Because like on this side, oh, like yeah. it's the same. So like this. You're just you kind of feel this bone. too, right? Yeah, you can feel this bone. You just follow the bone. And it's like a shoulder blade, right? So it's flat. Mm -hmm. So you just go out with it, push. Push, push, push. That's gonna be some dried stuff anyways, but oh, so good. Push, 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 follow it up, follow it up. So I'm dart my eyeball. <laughs> follow it, and that'd be his like, Shoulder almost ball. like his our top shoulder per se and then that'd be his joint for his like elbow so get all the way down you can see the thing ended there oh yeah just kind of do that next side same thing so we're continuing other side of the shoulder blade call it and you just kind of go along blade like that Scrape as much meat off as you can. Yeah, you can even see the shape of the shoulder bone there, right? Yeah, exactly. So now we're getting to the other side. So either be lazy, like myself, or just hug that bone it's just sausage meat we're doing Go right down yeah I guess if you're across. making if you're making exactly. sausage you don't have to be as precise exactly yeah, yeah. So, yep. okay and then all the way up yeah all the way just to this little knuckle here because it's a knuckle okay so once it gets hard turn your knife a bit and just kind of follow it yep and then all the way up yep Okay. okay, good there. Now you're gonna spread it and just cut down and pull back as you cut. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then once you get in there a bit, you can start pulling back and you're kind of tilting your knife. So some of those tendons are a little hard, yeah. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure. And I'm just gonna keep going down, right? Like, yep. yeah, yeah. And now I'll just start following. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Am I gonna <coughs> like all the way like that? That's fine. Just no. Take this all the way first. Okay. with your other hand oh, yeah. it's easier just because it meets the weight and oh, yeah. makes it fall. That's alright, we'll get the other side too. Okay. <laughs> 
Taking the hind off. This one's the shot. Well, okay. Yeah, so that would be sirloin tip. Well, actually, this would be sirloin tip, but it blew half it off. So we're just gonna cut all the dry bloodshot stuff off. And this is the same thing. You kind of, I wish we would have took the better looking one off first. But you kind of see how it's like a natural seam. Mm -hmm. and this one has a natural seam, and it comes around like this. You're basically following that. So Daddy. this is like a bone cut. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. It's gone forever. That one is muted. That one is muted. Yeah, find that one. Same thing. All of it. Cut. It's not moving, Daddy. No, it's not moving. Yeah. Okay, in two minutes. Hit that no bone. Freeze and there, that looks like a good move. Yeah, it's, it's alright, but I don't like how this part catches all this mm -hmm. So, that's half a sirloin tip. She's a little banged up. Mm -hmm. oh. Chunk of meat. Could, could you make like a roast out of that too? Yeah, that's what you usually do. So like yeah. this whole thing would be a roast. Like this part here. Oh yeah. And then you'd have like two, two roasts here. That peels right off. And that's where you'd make some really nice steaks. Of that after you clean it up. Look at that work there. See? How do you cut it? Like, do you just... Yeah, I'd slice it right Just straight in half, like that? Yep. I am up. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh, those are... The daddy's, daddy steaks. Yeah. Follow, follow. This stuff is junk, so I'm just gonna kind of cut. Is this around. like another roast? This would be a roast. Yeah. yeah. Then, all this stuff is. There was a seam there, as yeah. you saw, yeah. and I just followed it. This is a whole different piece, but I. Blew it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see your bone, obviously. Go hug the bone. I'm only putting like, you know, an inch and a half in. Hug the bone, hug the bone, all the way down. Flip it around. Same thing up. Just keep hugging that bone. And you see this seam here. Oh. Chase it. There's bone, there's like the socket. Chase it. Yeah. So you're following that pelvic bone. Yep. There's the end of the leg, per se, to the hip. And then, just keep following her. And say la vie. <laughs> Big girl, and you give her a slap to warm her up. <laughs> Very nice. So then, yeah, and then the rest of the stuff, you know, you, you just pick apart, and, yeah, for trim, yeah. for sausage or yeah. beef chunks, like the butt, like if you get good chunks, good like stew meat or kebabs I've done, you marinate them, oh, yeah. good like that too. The most important part of butchering is before you start cutting the meat, you have to give it a good slap. It's called tenderizing. All right. Eric's gonna go for the shoulder now. The grunting is a good sign. Yes. Means he's working. It's work. There's another one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now, yeah, exactly. Now just swipe straight down, get that big chunk of meat there with this? it. Yep. Right through that. Good. No. Slowly nick it all the way up. Just nick that fat. Yep. 
Yep, keep nicking, 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 nicking. It's down. Maybe in a bit, yep. And then down. Okay, nick, 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 nick that piece there, that big one, yep. Okay, I'll make sure I'll hold it with my leg. And then just tight, or what? Or am I? Yeah, you could just start going down now on it. Am I into the battle oh, strap yeah. there? Down, no. Because you're gonna fall on the neck now. So now, like yeah, this? Keep, keep going down, yeah. Yeah, 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 keep going straight down, straight down. Cut that all in one <clears> big piece. Start coming out on the bottom though, because you're hitting the neck. Oh, I fucked this head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so imagine the elk are moving. Okay. You got it. Right. <laughs> Slap her on there, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh precious. Holy, that's... See, now that's a white tail. Shoulder. <laughs> you gotta slap it. You gotta slap it. <laughs> so when you hang a deer, yeah, you cut in between. This is a big tendon, so you never cut that, then you're effed. So they hang literally just from in this tendon up to their knuckle. Okay. Same thing here. Tendon up to the knuckle. Rat me more, come to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where your hind back ham reaches back strap. Fake line. All the way to the bone. Then you turn your knife. And follow the spine. Follow the spine. Come here, girl. All the way to the spine. Uh, an imaginary line. You'll hit that rib cage there. Yes. This cross down rib cage, you hit it, and you just go. Alberta flying boat taking over. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Working on some the old back strap. Yeah. Prime cut. The... Yeah, I was surprised at how much actually actual meat is there, right? Like Yeah. No, it's pretty good chunk of meat on a back strap and back hams. Work your way down the spine and kind of pull away. Just got to keep nice and tight. Try not to cut too much extra off. And work your way into the neck. It's kind of a line. Once you get it, start peeling away. Kind of comes. Well, you kind of do it inside, eh? Yeah. I'm used to them laying on their one side, and then so you kind of like attack it piece by piece, and then you take your hide and roll it over, and then you roll the rest of the meat back on its hide, and then work from the other side <coughs> when you're in the field. Because you're doing this in the field. Yeah. I, I usually use a gut, gutless method, so. So you, yeah, you don't even pull out the. No, I don't even pull the guts out mostly. I did, I did gut a deer this year. For my dad. What's the benefit of that? It just saves you time from having to do that or what? Yeah, I find And then it, you don't puncture, have to worry about puncturing something? I find what? it's a lot cleaner too. Like, yeah. it's, I wouldn't say, it's definitely not faster than just gutting it and pulling it out, but if you're going to pack it. What about all the blood and stuff though? Isn't it better to drain it? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're usually putting it in packs and it's kind of, it's got lots of time to kind of 
Drain them. So you're not harvesting the uh, organs then? We reach in, like you'll have to, so when you pull your back strap out yeah. and your loins are right here, your tenderloins, yeah. what you actually do is there's basically a cut you would be able to reach in right in here. You'd cut kind of basically, imagine it's got hide on it and everything. You'd cut it clear basically to your first rib and then you would reach in and you would run your knife along the inside of your ribs mm -hmm. up up into the spine and then you start peeling it away kind of like the back strap but on the tenderloin and you just work that while the guts are in here it's a little bit of a pain you got to kind of throw your hand onto the guts to separate it but but how do you get through that chest wall to get the heart you can do that too same same thing you, you, you don't typically harvest the heart though uh i do sometimes yeah. but just depends if guys want it i personally not huge on the heart but mm -hmm. I blame uh, the people that have cooked it for me. <laughs> we we took we took both of the elk hearts last year. I ate deer heart for lunch today. <laughs> and, and you, did you like it? Yeah, it's all right. It I good. barbecued it. And... So the ones that we made last year, I didn't cook them, but I ate them, and the method must have been off. Or uh, yeah. and even the guy that cooked it was like, "This is not a good heart." So yeah. I would be interested to do it again for sure but there's probably a proper way but i would say i yeah. just marinated them and barbecued them i so. mean yeah you must have to take out there we go that's a good yeah. back strap now. you uh there must be a method for getting the veins out of the heart and stuff eh? like the vessels. oh yeah i had to cut all the valves out yeah okay yeah yeah you don't you don't want to leave that in and i feel like that's what happened with ours no, no, too chewy. And then, yeah, you just kind of work it into the into the neck. And once you get pulling away from the neck, it kind of comes out. All right, about there. All right. Prime All done. Cut. Very nice. Big old bed. All right. We are three quarters of the way through the second deer. Just got the back legs left. A uh, ton of meat here. Lots of trim. We got this and we got a whole another bag. Of course, we got our beautiful supervisor making yeah. sure that we're, uh, you know. Working? <laughs> well, you know, smoking. some people are taking more breaks than others. Hey, but. <laughs> I'm the trainer. I got oversee the job oh supervisor task. yeah 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 i'm going above and how are we doing here. so far then so far so good oh yeah no we're looking good lots of steaks we got some heat in here keep it warm keep it warm all right all right we're just packing up all the meat now wrapping it getting it ready for the freezer wrapping and stacking baby We got uh, oh. quite the amount going here. All that, this stuff to wrap, trim. All the trim. Another bag of trim. We probably got a good 100 pounds of meat, I'd say. Yeah, probably, yeah, 140. Nice. <laughs> We're here at Murphy's Meat Market. <laughs> we got our final steaks, both to get wrapped up. Last three for the night. All right. Cheers, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, Nature daddy for the win, bud. <laughs> dumping the meat, dumping the meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. No more tilt. Oh, yeah. that, oh nice. Money. Oh, so, Lee. That's, that's probably, I'm guessing. Let me uh, test here. <laughs> oh, that's probably 30 pounds because I can't curl uh, it more than 30. 10 pounds. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing 35 pounds, around 25 pounds. And that's all going the sausage. And then we got all of this so steaks. 60 roast. pounds, steaks, some roasts. We did most trim and there was a bit of a butt shot on the dough so we lost 
quarter of a quarter sort of thing. The hind quarter, which sucks, but. I'd say a good harvest, though. Heck well yeah. done.